Well, Project Scorpio will not compete with high-end PC rigs. Xbox's Phil Spencer has announced that they are aiming for a console price point with Project Scorpio and that they are not trying to compete with high-end gaming PCs. Right now, Xbox's Project Scorpio is set to release the holiday 2017, coming at 6 teraflops of GPU performance and an undisclosed 8-core AMD CPU, which we can only guess must be Zen. I'm, I'm interested to see what this, it has to be Zen. This level of GPU power is roughly equivalent to an overclocked AMD RX 480, making it equivalent to a mid-range VR-ready PC. Spencer was quoted as saying, I want Scorpio to be at a console price point. I'm not trying to go and compete with high-end rigs. And because we're building one spec, we're able to look at a balance between all components, make sure that it's something we really hit that matters to consumers and gamers, end quote. Let's see, now below there's a tablet showcasing the relative GPU performance from a modern AMD powered device. In the terms of teraflops and non-AMD GPUs being used in this comparison due to the inaccuracy of teraflops as a method of comparing GPUs with drastic differences in architecture. The Xbox One Scorpio is effectively a VR-ready PC in terms of raw GPU horsepower, with the known specifications closely, ma closely matching the minimum requirements for the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift on PC. If this is true and it's an 8-core AMD CPU, it has to be Zen, I'm guessing. Uh, it'll be 2017, so Zen will be out by then, so we know it's got to be that. And let's see, something equivalent to an RX 480. Hmm. Now, all the speculation has already said that the 8-core Zen CPU can outperform a $1,000 6-core Intel CPU. AMD tends to be cheaper than Intel as well. Uh, oh, we already know that. Now, the lowest priced RX 480 that I can find is around with eight gigabytes of GDDR memory is around $230 and that's the XFX model. So let's say they're getting it around that. If they were to go with a four gigabyte, which I highly doubt, judging by like this one leak picture of the Xbox Scorpio, like those little black squares around the CPU right there, or is that the GPU right there? I'm not quite sure, but and there was a six pin connector, a power connector, okay. So one, two, three, four, we see four here. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's definitely four, forgive me. So there's definitely eight right here. I can see two right there. So hmm, six, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they go with eight. I, don't, I highly doubt they go with six. So we'll say eight, uh, GDDR5 RAM. And if they're using an eight core, I would like to say it's Zen, but let's say they wanna save money or something. Are. Oh, an 8-core 8350 is only $140. Hmm. So let's say that they were using an 8-core and maybe they wanted to save money because I don't know how much an 8-core Zen is going to be because I'm pretty sure an 8-core Zen has got to be hitting $300. Got to be. So how would they fit this, let's say an 8-core Zen uh, AMD CPU into a console that already has the equivalent of a RX 480 but then again by the time the Xbox Scorpio comes out the RX 480 will probably be cheaper because what the Vega uh, GPUs should be out by then I wonder how much cheaper could they get they dropped down to like a hundred dollars but then again let's say they've got like a deal with Andy which they do so maybe they've got them in bulk and it's much cheaper I'm going to speculate that if they're going for a console price point and they really want to stick it to Sony to basically steal sales from them, because frankly, these companies aren't really enemies. Sony is not really enemies of Microsoft. In fact, they're all buddy-buddy. It's just friendly, competitive business to them. It's the fan base that treats it like it's some sort of fucking war or genocide. But let's say that they wanted to do this right. I'm going to guess that it would be around a maximum of maybe $499. If they're really aiming for a console price point, maybe $499 for a one or two terabyte Xbox Scorpio. And one terabyte would be maybe $399. That would destroy PlayStation. Right here, the specs already destroy PlayStation in my book. Like an eight core CPU, this thing will do 60 FPS at 1080p, no questions asked. And I don't know how they're gonna do 4K on a single 480 though. Let's see, 480 benchmarks. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's see. Now 1080p, 
there's no doubt about it, the RX 480 overclocked can do well over 60 FPS. In fact, the Xbox Scorpio will blaze past 60 FPS in some games at 1080p. But at 4K, we're looking at around 30 FPS in something like Batman Arkham Knight Ultra settings. So that would be amazing for a console gamer who's never really experienced Ultra settings that Fallout 4, true 4K, 40 FPS, right? Far Cry Primal at Ultra and 4K, not so much, 22 FPS. But 1080p, they could touch 60 FPS, 56. Grand Theft Auto, 4K, sub 30 FPS. So if it's overclocked, it would do true 4K, but 30 FPS. So that could be a possibility. 1080p, like uh, in most games, it can hit 60. No upscale, no dynamic bullshit. So it's possible. It's possible, 4K, but not 4K 60 FPS, unless Xbox has some sort of weird grid technology like Sony to upscale 1440p. But I, I'm pretty sure I recall Phil Spencer saying that they were not going to do that sort of stuff. They were going for true 4K. So it's up in the air currently. Without a doubt, the CPU alone will make sure that there are absolutely no bottlenecks for the Xbox Scorpio, whereas the PlayStation 4 Pro does have a bottleneck in the CPU area. That's blatantly obvious. I don't know. It'll be an interesting time in gaming, I guess. Uh, I don't know what you think. I don't know if you're interested in buying one. There's a possibility I might be interested in getting one, just to like do comparison videos, but I don't know. Probably wouldn't be worth the money for me. Now, oh, well, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel, and I will probably go to bed now. Anomaly detected. Possible hostile Titan. I am C. Ground 